But that Joe Lewis sure packs a punch. Fists like a freight train. If you say so. How about another one for the road? I'll be right with you, gentlemen. I think we'll see ourselves. Thank you, ma'am. I'll handle this. I don't want to leave you with them. It's okay. Go attend to Dottie. I'll meet you there. Where are my manners? My name is Dakota Fats, and I manage a business arrangement for one Bugsy Malone and a Rick Baker. You are Lucy Baker, Rick's widow, correct? The same. My condolences. Were you familiar with this business arrangement? Vaguely. It's simple, really. Your husband owed us a lot of money, and we collect weekly. $100 Americans, the ticket. Unfortunately, your husband met his untimely demise, but this bar here hasn't. So with that, I must say, the debt remains intact and unfulfilled. There's no way he could afford that. How much could he owe? All told, the debt stands at $3,500. These are dark days, ma'am, and your husband thought it wise to borrow money without any capital to his name to open this joint. And since he's been passed for the last three weeks, the outstanding balance is at $300 by this Friday afternoon. $300? By this Friday afternoon. And if you remain in debt to us at that time, we will be forced to place a lien on this establishment, and all profits will be turned over to us. And of course, debt will continue to accrue. This was a deal your husband made, ma'am. We hope you can understand. Purely business. It's a fine establishment you have here. Rocco told me they came. They sure did. Is it what we expected? Worse. 3,500 and 300 by Friday. By Friday? What are we gonna do? Oh my goodness! Got it. Pull yourself together. We've been over this dozens of times. But by Friday, it's insane. It's too dangerous. Not if he helps. Whoa, whoa, wait. What are we talking about? I'm talking about robbing those sons of bitches and clearing Rick's debt. You want to knock off a couple of Shylocks for their own cabbage? And give it back to them? And live to tell the tale? Well, we want you to do it. Ain't that a bitch. We need you, Rocco. You were his best friend, and you know how much this bar meant to him, and to our family. Please, I'm begging you, do this for Rick. You dames must be out of your goddamn mind. But, it's so crazy, it just might work. Fine. I'm in. But I need an extra body. Who? Kent Redding. The drunk? He's a podiatrist. He's a booze bag. He's reliable. And if I'm sticking my neck out, I need to know that somebody's going to have my back. Fine. He's your baggage. All right. Now all we got to do is figure out where to hit him. We've got that covered. Here we go. You ready? Hey! Wake up! I need you to have my back out here. Ah, yeah. Okay, let's get into character. Put him up! Drop the bag! I'm gonna turn that gun sideways and I'm gonna shove it straight up your... You're stealing from? You and your friends are dead! Dead! Shut up!
went away, ran in the still of the night with all this money. What kind of a life would that be? We're already looking over our shoulders. They never suspect two ladies. All gangsters care about is money. It doesn't matter how they got it or where it came from. And besides, they never think we'd have the nerve. I'd rather die trying to absolve Rick than live with this black cloud looming over me and knowing how much it tore him up. I think Rick would see justice in that. Curious. The sum amount of money is so little time. It turns out Rick had a bet open on Joe Lewis. It hit. I collected. Stroke a lot. Some luck. Now, I believe this resolves the business arrangement, doesn't it? <laughs> if you don't mind forfeiting the title to the bar, I'll be on my way. It's the deal my husband made. Nice place you got here.